The stretch of water between New Zealand and Fiji is a difficult one. Timing is important. We spent two weeks in Opua, watching the weather and waiting for a good window to leave. Waiting is fine. We always have plenty to do. We left the dock on June 12th, along with a handful of other yachts. It doesn't take long for everyone to lose sight of each other. Before we had AIS, when our eyes couldn't see anything on the horizon, we just assumed no one was around, but in reality, there's a lot of traffic out there. Every second or third day, we'd see something pop up on our screen. We left in the wake of a weather system, making good speed, but two days out, the wind died, and with it, the waves. The ocean looked like a mirror, or a pool of melted metal. The scenery was almost too perfect, like a default Windows wallpaper. While there were no other boats, we had others to keep us company. Seabirds and schools of fish. You are never really alone on the ocean. As quickly as the wind left, it returned in strength out of the north. It pushed us further and further east, more than we wanted it to. And so we decided it best to heave to and wait for the wind to turn west. Waiting isn't all bad. It gives us time to cook more complex meals, like making pitas and cornbread. It also gives us time to rest Erratic sleeping patterns take a lot out of you. As predicted, the wind turned west and then to the south. And with this, we were able to keep going north. The wind stayed with us all the way to Fiji. We arrived in Savu Savu on a gray day with rain clouds ahead. We could smell the greenery and flowers from the water. After eight months in New Zealand and nearly 15 days of sailing, it's nice to be back in a warm place. This is the first of many stops we will make as we head north to Japan. For now, we're thinking of passing by Wallace, Tuvalu, the Marshalls, Kozrai, and then Guam. While we're here, we'll be working on our game Markle. With good internet and plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, Savu Savu is the perfect office. We hope you enjoy this video, and until next time. And as Fijians would say, Sota Taile. Ha, ha, ha.